first week of June, I wear my PL. My business doubled the store, our e-commerce. It was like overnight. And I said, I'm going to share this secret. We started making it. And then people started to give me their feedback and how it has helped them. Now is your chance to manifest your dreams. Use this PL available at our website, eatreadlove.me. Oh, it's me. Yes, it's me. The one, the only. <laughs> oh, we have a lot of uh, things to catch up, as I always say here. Venus is in a miracle degree. Okay, it's at its strongest right now before it exits. Sidereal Taurus. What does it mean for you? Give me one second. That's your seventh house. Ruler of the seventh house also. A ruler of the seventh house. Okay. Um, and ruler of Taurus, Venus, 29 degrees. I will tell you. Okay. Um, there's something that you want to talk about in this. Oh, mm -hmm. only your sign. Only your sign, I swear. We'll rush in to talk to someone. And then here it is. Of course, it didn't went well. <laughs> Eight of Wands with a Three of Swords. Every time I do your read, it's like watching a UFC fight, you know, or um, what else I can compare it with. Because it's like, it's, it's, I feel like at this point it's dramatic. Okay. At this point, eight of ones with the three of swords. Uh, the two of you, of course, didn't understand each other. The two of you tried to talk, but nobody was listening, right? So then it becomes like this. Yeah. More fights, more arguments. Now, if you are in a long distance relationship, this can become a situation, okay? Because with the Three of Swords, there could be some betrayal, far from you, long distance relationship, we don't know what they're doing. But then the truth is gonna come out as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Um, let's see what you guys have for me. Um, oh, let's start first with, of course, our Miss Spray. The Scorpio has hit it at Nesmatana, okay? Why? You guys are the number one seller. Rose Quartz, uh, I think it's the one that I make the most. You choose the crystal, you choose the scent, and then you choose a sign. Now, this promotes high vibration for like your aromatherapy, and it can definitely attract love. That's why I get love spell. Yes, Venus is scent. So if there's anything that you need, you know, if, if you infuse it with crystal, the scent and the crystal, oh, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Okay. Um, just a quick announcement also, the double Piao, okay, 18 carat, the ultimate, yes, the multi gemstone, this is now available, um, when you get it today, you will get the, uh, this is the Venus one that I'm creating right now, okay, I showed it the other day, because Venus is in a miracle degree, it is at its 29 degrees, so before it exit, then it's gonna weaken, it's gonna weaken, because it's gonna be zero, one, two, three in Gemini, so Venus is its prime. Venus rules relationship. Venus rules partnership, of course, romance. Also finances. According to uh, a wonderful Vedic uh, uh, sidereal astrologer, um, I hope I can remember her name. Okay, Miss Joni. Miss Joni Padri. I watch her a lot. Um, according to her, Venus is the planet of billionaires. Okay? And rose quartz for me, um, while, uh, you know, it's like it promotes love, harmony, I want to make it during this time, specifically only when Venus is in 29 degrees. So this is the only time that I will be making it, okay? Oh, it's free. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I forgot which. It's free when you get your double Piao, okay? It's free. And um, you guys can see here also, thank you very much to everybody who has gotten their kit also. When you check out, you can, uh, you know, shop site-wide at my, at my website, eatreelove.me. You get your kit for the Saturn Retrograde, okay? So um, I've been busy packing the orders. I mean, like, it was, it's nonstop. I, I, I don't know. Like, at this point, it's like, I have to buy, I think, four or five printers because it just keeps going, okay? So that's free as well. Um, the kit is free, okay? Um, recharge um, to replenish, you know, when Sa uh, Saturn is uh, going to be retrograde in the next uh, um, two weeks left, two and a half weeks. So this is going to be an interesting time. Before it retrogrades, we're already in it, okay? Because uh, all our actions right now will be judged for the next five months. So Saturn rules Kala, time. So there's a lot of things probably that will come into our life that we will try to understand and figure out. 
Mm -hmm. Like things that we didn't uh, have uh, received closure. Okay, Scorpio? So, man, we are just warming up. Mm -hmm. I upload here every day, guys, in, just in case you guys are wondering. Let's see. Ooh, not going anywhere. You have the hangman here. The eight of cups. Okay, the ten of wands. Let me see. And the two of swords. Okay. Um, your person has ghosted you. Um, they're tired, Scorpio. Exhausted mentally. Now, this uh, situation is when Jupiter is in the seventh. It is suspicious. It's good. Um, Venus is, co uh, is going to be is still combust all the way to the end of June. Okay. What does combust mean? It gets too close to the sun. It gets get burned. And when the plant graha is burned, it is agitated. It's, you know, uh, sun is crura, cruel. And then, you know, the planet becomes, you know, a little bit like irritated because it's like sun is just shining so bright. So, the ruler of the seventh house is suffering. So, the suffering of your person actually is related to that. Mm -hmm. Or the suffering of the relationship, the pain. You got a ten of wands and the eight of cups. Then, you have here the two of swords, which means questioning. Okay? Wait, what is this? Okay. There is some question. Uh, was that question? Is it que questioning going on? Okay? Now, the Ten of Wands, the Two of Swords, it's a crossroads right now from what I'm seeing where your person does not really understand if they can. They didn't say no, they didn't say anything, but they just decided. It's like, you know what, it's not the best time for us to talk. Mm. So you tried to process this and think deeply. You tried to understand what is going on. So a little bit confusing time, you know. Um, did I do anything wrong? Was there something that I could have changed? You know, is there something that I could have done so that way it's it didn't turn out this way? Does it make sense? Um, you have been very, very kind. You've been very nurturing. You have opened the line of communications with your person as well. Uh, your person is opposite of that one. Um, they claim that uh, they have done so many for you, and then there's nothing really that they have gotten back in this connection. Um, it could be a Piscean that I'm seeing here. There's a part of you that every time you kind of venture into a relationship, it ends like this. You mean well, you're very hopeful, and it goes fast with the Eight of Wands, but then it would hit a wall, and then that wall becomes like, I don't know, it's an imaginary wall, can't cross it if it's imaginary. I can't be with a person if they just keep distancing themselves and then saying like, I need time, I need time, I need space. So that's where it's kind of like, I, it's a gray area right now in this uh, relationship, okay? Let's see. So you're figuring that out. Oh, I forgot. Oh, later, 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 guys, later. I'll show you. Now, in this situation, you got Five of Wands, Judgment, Page of Cups, okay, Page of Wands, and the Temperance. Okay, hear me out. I'm seeing right now where, in you know, like, you, for you, it's just like, let's talk. For them, they'll talk on their terms. They're asking you here, basically, because the Temperance like patience, like, just be patient. We'll talk. Okay. So there's a part of them that's saying, like, just be patient, we'll talk. So they're not really, uh, how do you call this? Like open. They may like to show it to you that they're open for it. Now, seeing here that you have a judgment card and there is an obstacle, three of swords. Okay. With what I do, okay, when I manifest, um, I always remove the obstacle by using um, Piao. So this is a double Piao. One thing that is very um, good here is the combination. Okay, you can only find this combination because I made it myself. Because these are specifically in order to remove obstacle for, well, first money, obstacle for love, obstacle for material gains, obstacle for soulful connection, obstacle for, um, how do you call this, um, for success, because there's ruby. 
So that's why the double P out. 18 carat, real gold. Okay, so when you get this today, don't forget, you also get the Venus. Okay, this is my um, lucky money magnet actually. Okay, so but this is rose quartz. Okay, so that's charm. You'll see it there. Okay, you guys see always. Uh, oh, so this is my rose quartz every time. Okay. But I just don't know if you guys would like this one. So I created something much more special. And it's free, okay? Rose Quartz is the first j crystal that I've ever used. My first purchase. Remember, I'm not always like this. I, I, I'm a corporate person. I'm a 15-year chef. I have run two businesses, a bakery, um, both in New York and in Santa Fe, New Mexico. So um, if anything that I know is, uh, how do you call this? Um, I was one of the biggest skeptic until I started to use it. <laughs> I'm, uh, what do you call this? Uh, I, not science, what do you call this? Um, I forgot the term, but you know, I wasn't always like this until. It was actually the rose quartz that made me believe in like, Oh my, because six weeks, Six weeks when I use it, when, you know, person came. Okay. All right. So make sure. All right. Plus, of course, oh, can you guys, oh, you guys can see it, but there's a big rose quartz underneath there like this. Okay. Because it's good also for finance for me. Because mm -hmm. you build relationship. This is a relationship that we have right now across the camera, right? So rose quartz is good for a lot of things, not just the romance, all these things. So make sure to get it. That's free. And then, of course, you get your free kit as well. Okay, but you have to add this manually to your card. Your person, page of one temperance. Okay, is asking for some time right now. Let's see what happened there. Oh, and everybody has forgot to see this. This is new. Everybody at Eat Read Love will get their sampler of Ness Matana Love Spell, the Zodiac Miss. Gorgeous. Look at that. I'm so proud of this. Because like, I like, you know, like when you love what you do, it really shows. That's how I feel. Where fragrance meets crystal magic. Okay, it's free. I'm adding it to your kit, okay, to everybody. If, uh, you know, like for the latest one though, okay, because I just got it. Mm -hmm. Four of Swords. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Either you or your person has been thinking about the future of this relationship. Mm. This is their dis. Oh, okay. So their decision... Okay. Huh. That's going to be an interesting one. Okay. So your person is finally going to make this decision. Now, I'm going to continue this reading. Link in the description box below for the extended reading. Uh, make sure to visit my website, eatreadlove.me. Make sure to add to your cart the Scorpio kit. I'll see you guys again.